guys, how are you doing today? Today I will be going through all of my art supplies, at least all of the ones that I knew where they were. I have a lot, so let's just jump into it, shall we? All right, let's start with markers. I have Copics. People who like to use markers as a medium have at least tried these. They're pretty, pretty freaking great. Problem is they're really expensive, so they're not really the best marker if you're on a budget. Next, I have the Chameleon markers. I have yet to try these. I plan on trying them and comparing them to the Copics in a later video. And I have a ton of the Winsor Newton markers that have been discontinued. I got them from Hobby Lobby for like a buck a piece when they were discontinuing them. They're, they're okay. Um, the fact that they were pretty old when I got them, a lot of them are kind of dry and I had to throw them out when I had a chance to actually try them, which was kind of a big bummer. Then I have some of these art markers and I'm not even sure what brand they are. I got them for Christmas. They're okay, they're pretty streaky. So they're kind of more for like a beginner or a child, but I mean, they have good pigmentation and uh, I'll do a comparison video at some point. Next, I have these really cheap Touch New or Touch 5. I don't even know what they're called markers that I got on Wish. Really cheap. They were like less than a dollar a marker and I do plan on doing a review with these in the future. Next, I have a ton of acrylics. This entire drawer is full of acrylics. I have the Liquitec Basics. This white is actually really great it's very i guess white white like a true white not a cream white and then i have some master touch black the, these two are like my staples um i try to have at least a tube of these for mixing or shadows or highlights um then i have smaller tubes of dick blick studio acrylics for canvas and then I have a ton of these little craft paints these are not very good for canvas they tried on way too fast but they are really great for like the jacket that I did and what's great about them they have really rich colors and they're like 89 cents they're they're really great for small crafts this is my lovely colored pencil collection I don't want to spill it this is all Prismacolor, and these are all your standard color pencils, and I have several of these colorless blenders in here. And I also have my kneaded eraser shoved in here. This is great because it doesn't pull up parts of the paper or whatever surface you're working on. So like, you can use this on canvas, you can use this on watercolor paper. I used it on the jacket that I just did. Kneaded erasers are really my favorite and I highly recommend them. Oh no, I spilled a bunch of colored pencils. This drawer is where I keep my like fine liners. So I've got a bunch of the Micron fine liners and some Sharpie fine liners. I also have white gel pens that I use for highlighting or for or adding a white stroke to things. Um, yeah, so just various different sizes of fine liners and some Sharpies, everybody's gotta have some Sharpies. Then in this drawer, I have all of my wonderful paint brushes. Some of these are a little crusty dusty, um, but I've got my watercolor paint brushes. I've got my acrylic paint brushes, my fine line paint brushes, all in this cute little drawer set. So the first drawer, and I'll pull them up, is all of my gel pens. I have so many colors of gel pens in here and they're, they're great for going over paint or going over ink or just adding a pop of color somewhere and it being vibrant and bright and, and colorful. Next drawer is all of my pencils, all of my graphite. Oh, there's my watercolor pencils in here too. I don't like those. Um, so I have this small 12 graphic medium graphite set. These are okay, they're not my favorite. This set is my favorite. This is my Prismacolor Premier. 
graphite pencils. These ones are bomb. These are full graphite. These are your like water soluble graphite and then these are your turquoise base liners. Uh, a kneaded eraser, magic rub eraser, a sharpener. I have to keep that one in there. I could I have sharpeners everywhere but I can never seem to find one. This one I know where it is. Number two pencils. Some cheap graphite that I got on Wish. I'm gonna compare these at some point. Then I got these Masters Touch watercolor pencils from Hobby Lobby. I do not like these and I will go over why I don't like them in a future video. But they're $60 and they were not worth the money at all. When you can get the Faber-Castell ones for roughly the same price. I don't have very many watercolors. I've got these two Masters Touch sets. I actually do kind of like these quite a bit. They've got pretty good pigment and they're not super chalky. And I've got these, I don't even know what brand they are. They're some glittery watercolors. My liquid masking tape. This is really great. I, I know I've used this in videos before where I put it down and then I peel it up after I've done the background. Some sponges. The water cup I should be using instead of my trusty Santa mug. But hey, I like my Santa mug, okay? Alright, next is kind of a miscellaneous drawer. Oh gosh, what do what we got here? Information about my hip surgery. Because this is really what I need in my art supplies. This is an old mosaic that I never finished scraping the grout off of. It's a frog. I should probably scrape the, the grout off this. This is going to be really tough. This is like a list that I have of the Prismacolor colored pencils that I have that I bring with me if I go to the store. Hmm. I don't remember painting this. This is Daytona. Kind of like it. Very abstract. So, duck. I found the spoon that I was supposed to ship you. Um, whoops. Luckily, I have not made it to UPS yet or FedEx to be able to ship the leather working supplies so I will get this in the box and I will get it in the mail. I have my favorite Castell color pencils. I, I like these but I don't like them as much as I have my Prisma color pencils. I just don't think they're uh, soft enough to really get the color down. Here are my soft pastels. I have yet to figure out how to properly use these. <laughs> they're great, they're pretty. I'd love to be able to know how to use them, but I just, I can't figure out how to make something pretty out of them. Ah uh, yes, oil pastels. Another art supply that I rarely use. They're pretty. I've seen people do wonderful artwork with these. I personally have not come up with anything that I'm truly proud of with them. Maybe that's some ideas for some future videos is trying to figure out how to use these darn things. And on my iPad, I have Procreate, which is a really great app for art. I did this for my friend crazy demonic wolf and then we have Adobe sketch I don't like Adobe sketch as much which is kind of surprising because I really like Photoshop it's just it seems too limited to me I really like procreate I feel like I can get more done with it and if anybody knows any other drawing apps on uh, the iPad I would love to test them out maybe do a video for that as well this baby right here is my Huey on Canvas 221 Pro. It's really great. It's got different buttons that you can program. And it's got a lot of drawing space. I'll put my hand up next to it here. 
so you can see how big it is. A big thank you for everybody who watched this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all in the next one.